Okay, so I'm gonna give you an injection uh -huh. to numb the skin, alright? Uh -huh. Okay, so I think maybe you come here. Okay, don't worry, okay? I'm going through the skin. Take a point right above the vein. And go in rather perpendicularly. One, two, three. Go through the skin first. Alright, flatten my needle. Look for my needle on the screen. Then I advance my needle uh, under ultrasound guidance. I either move the ultrasound or the needle. So my needle is tenting on the vessel wall. I'm going to go through it now. Firm pressure at a rather flat angle. Just keep going until it gives. Okay, you can see a recoil of the vessel wall. Then on the screen, you can see my needle is in the middle of the vein. Okay, all right. Can ultrasound is done already. I'm gonna aspirate. Can hold my needle with my left hand. I think maybe a second video after I after I yeah, so you take again. Yeah. Yeah, because I need to check my, my guide wire. My guide wire is going down in the middle of the vein, as distal as you can see. Alright, Ken. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Ken. Then, uh, Teresa, I think maybe you can take from here. Alright, so you, we need to dilate the skin. You can either use a blade or just use a needle. Alright, well, as you dilate, make sure that your guide wire is able to slide in and out. So you need counter traction. Okay. Alright. Then wait until the guide wire emerge from the brown pot. You hold the brown pot and slide in the whole thing. And depend on the patient's body weight, uh, body height, then uh, you decide how a type of major surgery and then you decide where to secure it. Uh. A 13 cm is usually a safe bet. Uh, I usually coil my guide wire back into the introducer. Yeah, make sure that all pots are freely aspirating. Okay, the left hand usually the most dirty, I'll clean it. Okay, you can see the blood coming out as you aspirate. Put it back in. Then check all the other pots. Okay. Then, after that, just keep it down. 